नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल टुडे इज अक्षय तृतीया अ वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे आई थॉट आई आई टेक अ क्यू फ्यू क्विक मिनट्स टू शेयर सम इंसाइट्स अबाउट व्हाट इज स्पेशल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर अक्षय तृतीया सो दैट यू कैन बेनिफिट फ्रॉम इट now when akshaya trutiya happens trutiya that means there's a difference between the sun and the moon it's a multiple of 3 this particular akshaya trutiya when it occurs what happens is the sun and the moon they are what we call as the dvir dvadasha position what does it mean dvir dvadasha means second and 12th position from each other if you look at the way the sun is there and the way moon is there the sun is in aries zodiac sign and the moon is in taurus zodiac sign so naturally what happens is the moon is the second from the sun and the sun is the 12th from the moon and hence we refer to it as dvir dvadasha position now this happens always during akshaya trutiya but depending on the influences of sun and moon there are certain things that change on a yearly basis so now you see that when during akshaya trutiya while the sun and the moon are in dvir dvadasha position what actually happens is it's it becomes a very interesting phenomena the second house is the house of extension expansion the second house is also the house of liquid finance the second house denotes multiple things dhanasthana is also the second house to a large extent and the 12th house and essentially uh, talks about moksha talks about vyaya the house of loss talks about foreign travels and many more so whenever there is a second and 12th position of the sun and the moon essentially it means that it could be a opportune time to spend something vyaya sthana right the sun is 12th from the moon vyaya sthana to spend something for a larger gain so that's why sometimes you know or most of the time the marketing companies they say that you know this is a good time to invest in the money because you're depositing some money very early on with the hope that it will expand but doing that blindly is incorrect because every year what you could invest and what you could gain would be different depending on the influences of the on the sun and the moon another interesting point that you will have to note is during akshaya trutiya the sun and the moon are also exalted that means they are shining with exuberance now when this happens the output that you get is a very refined positive output when i say this any gain that comes to you would come to you as lakshmi rather than as rakshasi if you have to understand this right any money that you you would put any money that you put in a honest manner any hard earned money that has not been uh, evaded of tax etc when lakshmi is in its purest form not in as black money but is in is in white money that money when you invest it it will come back with better returns so that is the beauty of akshaya trutiya so it doesn't always happen that any money that you go ahead and deposit will result in uh return on investment no only money that comes in the form of pure lakshmi not as rakshasi not as black money only those will get a return now specifically this year there are four planets that are influencing this equation of sun and moon in dvirdvadasha position and in uchchasthana so what are those four planets there are i think there are three planets that are currently 
affecting sun which is basically mercury rahu and jupiter these are the three planets that are currently influencing in addition to uh, these three there's also the third aspect of saturn so so yes four planets are currently influencing the sun and one planet that is venus is influencing the moon so remember i told you sun is in the 12th position from the moon so that means the expense that you make will pretty much largely needs to be looked at from the angle of sun jupiter is a good planet to be with but he is in gandanta we uh, next is rahu rahu is a planet that essentially talks about speculation uh, talks about things that are not normal like cryptocurrency all those things very new age kind of investments again in in this current scenario that is also not good saturn saturn talks about long term stocks long term investments capital investments all those things are saturn even that is not looking very healthy and then mercury mercury when we talk about it they are talking about quick uh, uh money it could be like daily wages or it could be like day trading or it could be short term gains that we are looking at and all these four planets influencing sun is not a healthy thing so whatever areas that i mentioned those are the areas that you should not invest in in that case which is the area that you should invest in the clue comes from the from moon moon shows you the areas that you can invest in now the planet that will be associated with moon for this akshaya trutiya is venus and what does venus may indicate venus indicates art entertainment luxury rejuvenation and things like that and those are the areas that you should probably be investing in so if you have liquid money and you want to essentially spend liquid money then this is a good time to maybe invest in say for example art now some people feel that you don't want to invest in art which is okay there's nothing wrong about it this is also the good time to invest in your own body self as i told you venus indi- indicates a little bit of luxury so this is the time when you should probably look at investing in taking care of your health take going to that rejuvenation camp that you probably have postponed it going to that uh, place like for example it could be uh, uh, panchakarma kriya where where you do massages and all oil baths etc so this is the time when you could also look at investing in your own health so first i told you could be art so it could be a painting or any such things that you would like to buy or it could be ayurveda that's an area that you can definitely look at investing this is also the time when you could also look at some sort of a comfort in terms of you know making your life that much more easier for example if you have been thinking of uh, say buying something that makes your life much more comfortable like for example changing your bed or changing your pillow again these have to be related to your health perspective then this is a time when you could look at going ahead and making that investment because this is a very opportune time so i hope you understood how this particular akshaya trutiya works so don't blindly think that at on this day you need to always buy gold you need to always go and buy uh, you know you have to always open an fd no that is incorrect this is how dakshya trutiya has to be understood before i end it one imp- one last thing that i would want to communicate akshya trutiya happens because of the power of sun and because of the power of moon these are the two primary planets in the entire navagraha ecosystem that has a very profound impact on humans the beauty of the presence of moon in taurus and the presence of sun in aries essentially means that this is a very good time to 
also look at dhana because by giving the dhana you will get a, you will earn back a lot of punya positive karma points and again relating to the things that affect sun and the things that influence moon the best dana this time would be to do dana with regard to saving lives helping improve these things helping the life for example if you have an opportunity to donate to say for example it could be as uh, straightforward as blood donation this is a very good time to do that if you want to you know say donate or sponsor uh, health related aspects uh, you want to say finance people uh, who have had say uh, who have who are handicapped and they want to look at say an artificial leg for themselves this is a great time to go ahead and sponsor those things the karma that you would get out of this will be extremely beneficial and most importantly the blessing that you will get from the people who have benefited will act as a very solid raksha kavacham for you your family your children your parents everybody around you so use this time to also donate in aspects of health if you're not able to do that much it could be as simple as you know uh, for example any people who are uh, hungry donate simple things like uh, some bread some rice some curd rice at least a milk packet for example you can just take one milk packet and hand it over to all the poor people so it could be as simple as that as well so make the best use of uh, uh, this day uh, i wanted to quickly drop this message to you the good news is this extends this dhana dharma the window of akshya trutiya of for a dhana and dharma extends even to tomorrow as well so it doesn't just end end in one day the dhar, dhana dharma can go all the way till chaturthi so you can if you have missed if you are not for whatever reasons if you are not able to do it today do it tomorrow i'll see you again namaste